you want to look for goldfish? Hmm. Or do you want the crispy minis? Cameron's allergic to all nuts. Um, we found out when he was 13 months old uh, by trial. We grabbed some peanut butter, we put it on his arm, uh, nothing really happened, so we're like, okay, sweet. We smeared um, crackers with it. Uh, he ate a bunch of them, and then within a minute, he started swelling up and not being able to breathe. Do you know what happens if you have an allergic reaction? Do you know what would happen if you had nuts? Oh, die. Most schools, I know they do go for the peanut-free um, atmosphere but you can't guarantee that all parents, you know, they don't necessarily know how severe it can be for kids if their kids don't have the allergy. Reactions can include uh, difficulties breathing is the more severe case, um, fainting. The less severe case is just a little bit of rash or maybe a little bit of swelling around the lips or wherever they touch that nut. Does this have nuts in it? Um, which is great. So that's the first thing is make sure you educate your own child to ask that question first. When they're sending their child to school, they should be sending them along with their either EpiPen or Allergex. Those are very important to have um, sent to school. So in case if they have their allergy there, the teachers, the principals, or the other caregivers are aware of how to inject it and when to inject it, what to look out for for their child as well too. EpiPens are really easy to use. Um, basically all it is is actually taking off a, a blue cap at the top there. And then once they've done that, is hold it like a pen in their hands and then just holding it against their thigh. Pressing it firmly against the thigh and holding for about five seconds. Um, after that five seconds, they just pull it out. The Allerject is actually um, a device that actually talks to you and tells you and goes through the process of what to do. There's more and more children out there that are, have allergies to these uh, nuts and sensitivity to them. So it's very important for parents to be aware of what they're packing in their children's school uh, because the children aren't aware and they might actually be playing with a friend that might have an allergy to nut that they're unaware about. Um, if they eat that snack around them and that other child touches it, they can go into a pretty severe reaction at that point. When he was little, I was, I would spend a lot of time just looking at the phone hoping it wouldn't ring. My son is nine years old. He's anaphylactic to peanuts, tree nuts, dairy, eggs, and gluten grains, as well as being allergic to another dozen or so things. Our school is, is peanut and nut aware. Uh, they don't officially call themselves peanut and tree nut free because it's difficult to enforce that, of course, but I am also grateful to the parents who do respect that because it helped keep my son safe. No nut, no nut, no nut. One of the things with, with uh, EpiPens, I mean, the idea is that they're, they're supposed to be more of an insurance. They're not like a drug that you plan on using. You hope you never use it. 